Kazdan Paradis was a male Alina, who, like many other Jedi, was taken to the Jedi Temple at an early age to be trained as a Jedi. During his training, he lacked the physical skills of his peers, which he made up for with his impressive ability of constructing battle droids with the Force to help him accomplish his trials and tests. As a Jedi Knight, he continued to use his battle droids to assist him on missions. While at the Jedi Temple, he was a member of the Technical Division, an organization within the Jedi Temple whose purpose was to maintain and repair all craft and technologies within the Temple. There he crafted training droids for forthcoming Jedi. By the time of the Clone Wars, Kazdan was a Jedi Master. During the war, he spent a lot of time studying the Separatist droids. He built many medical and power droids to support the Republic in the front lines. Around this time, he built four mechanical arms to wear on his back to help him compensate for his short stature. When Order 66 was issued, Kazdan was in the Jedi Temple and it was attacked by Darth Vader in the 501st. He had a breakdown and fled in fear, leaving behind all other Jedi. He ended up leaving Coruscant and made his way to Raxus Prime. There he was overcome by immense guilt over his abandonment of the Jedi. He built numerous droids through the Force to protect himself from potential intruders. Over time, due to isolation and extensive guilt, he descended into insanity. He ended up building a replica of the Jedi Temple out of junk and made puppets of all the Jedi Council members for the Council Chamber. About 16 years after Order 66 was issued, Kazdan was discovered by Darth Vader, who sent his secret Sith apprentice Galen Merrick to kill him. After fighting through Kazdan's droids, Galen confronted him in the Council Chamber replica that he built. During the duel, Kazdan would build massive droids out of junk, called Junk Titans, to help him fight against Galen. Despite his best efforts, he ultimately failed and was killed. Kazdan possessed a lightsaber pike that emitted a blue blade, with in some cases it emitted a yellowish-orange blade. After his duel with Galen, his lightsaber pike was damaged and could no longer function. Galen tried to repair it, but failed. Kazdan was also equipped with a robotic rig on his back that allowed him to climb walls and move around quickly with ease. He used these robotic arms to wield his lightsaber, which allowed him to produce very quick attacks. Kazdan was a very powerful force user, so much so that even Darth Vader didn't expect Galen to survive his encounter with him. As a lightsaber duelist, he showed exceptional skill with his lightsaber pike, being able to easily block and counter almost all of Galen's lightsaber attacks. Through the force, he was able to quickly create massive battle droids with ease. He was also capable of throwing and stopping huge and heavy objects with little effort. When he was a young Jedi, he was very antisocial and spent much of his personal time in his living quarters, building and studying droids. He showed to have high intelligence, using his creations to aid himself in his Jedi trials. Despite this, he was somewhat of a coward, abandoning the Jedi Temple when it was attacked by Darth Vader. After spending much time alone on Raxus Prime, he became insane and delusional, and he showed clear signs of schizophrenia. So much so, that he would talk to the Jedi puppets that he made, and would even hold pretend Jedi Council meetings. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.